Hello, I'm Mike Corrigan, Master Herbalist, Formulator, and Educator for Life Seasons. And today, I'd like to acquaint you with a brand new product called Clarity. Clarity for, in fact, cognitive support. Now, when we talk about cognitive support, we're talking absolutely about the brain. Um, and even though the very first item on the label here is phosphatidylserine, a very useful compound, I'd like to skip over that one for just a moment and talk to you about what I consider to be one of uh, not only my favorite herbs, but one of the most researched and uh, highly favored herbs on herbal products, phytomedicines on the planet, and that happens to be ginkgo biloba. Fact of the matter is, ginkgo biloba extract, and the things that it will do, the complexes within it uh, add absolutely to the environment that we find ourselves in today with our aging population. We're finding more and more that larger and larger segments of the population as they live longer are subject to lack of cognition, uh, substance, uh, substances not in the diet that uh, would typically have cured that are in short supply in an, in an aged person's diet and they have some problems with digestion as well. So what ends up happening is that they end up with cognitive impairment. We call it dementia. In the worst situations, it's called Alzheimer's disease. What I'm gonna talk about is Ginkgo's ability to do something uh, very, very interesting with the circulation in the body. In fact, it's going to enhance circulation. It's going to support neural transmission it's not enough just to support the neural transmission between the synapses, the uh, connective acti activity in the brain. You also have to have good conductive support in the, the microcirculation of the body, which it will do. It also uh, helps with recall, the ability to reach into deep memory and pull uh, long-term facts out. It is a tremendous antioxidant, a free radical scavenger, and the, I the ideal product for what we would consider to be um, a phytonutrient. By circulation, uh, increasing circulation, we're gonna take care of three main problems that all tissues need. First of all, it's going to supply O2 or oxygen, which is of course going to allow the cells to fire and create nutrients through uh, an oxidative reaction. It's also gonna supply the raw material to do that, which is glucose in the bloodstream. And last but not least, it's going to uh, allow the cells, once that uh, free radical um, oxidation reaction has taken place and created uh, free radicals, it's going to allow the bloodstream to eliminate and get rid of the, the damaged material or the uh, waste products that are coming from, from uh, metabolism. Now, the, the fact of the matter is ginkgo has become uh, not only the very best selling of the phytonutrients in the world, but it's sold in practically every major country around the globe. Uh, it goes by lots and lots of different names. Uh, the typical, the typical uh, product that we are hanging our hat on here is an extract, a 50 to one extract. 50 to one is literally 50 pounds of raw material if we're using pounds down to one pound of extract. And that is going to throw a 24% flavone glycoside combination as well as 6% uh, of um, a set of compounds in ginkgo known as terpenes. All of those are necessary and they're necessary to be there in a particular ratio. Uh, a couple more items that we need to cover as we talk a little bit about ginkgo biloba and that is that the ability to increase circulation to the brain has many many different uh, benefits to it as far as their overall behavior goes. First of all we talk a little bit about memory, but it also improves our ability to think in, in stress situations and to, to solve problems. Uh, there's also a, a really big benefit to ginkgo biloba that, in fact, we don't talk about as enough, and that is the ability to restore cognitive behavior. That also overlaps into social behavior. Uh, social behavior is the ability to interact in a crowd, and many times older folks uh, actually won't leave home because they feel somewhat threatened or just by large crowds and noise, really out of their comfort zone. Uh, that, of course, leads to the, this shut-in feeling and feelings of depression, uh, very, very common that uh, the elderly are dealing with the senile depression. And in fact, ginkgo biloba 
as well as a product that we're going to talk about is phosphatidylserine have the ability to in fact work on on depression. Now the uh, the item that I want to talk about next is uh, known as huprazine A. Basically acetylcholinesterase is a compound, uh, an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. Uh, one of the neurotransmitters is extremely beneficial from the standpoint of just making connect connectivity in the brain through the neurons. Uh, the, the problem with that is that it's, up, it's taken up too quickly and consequently in uh, senile dementia, in Alzheimer's and so forth and so on, this is a situation where we need to preserve that in the bloodstream a little bit longer and in fact huprazine A actually does that. A uh, compound that in fact uh, has at least as, an, uh, as much effect as the best-selling um, best drug in that particular area. Uh, next item that we need to cover is uh, something called vinpocetin. Vinpocetin, uh, again, this is a, an alkaloid that comes from a product in nature known as vinca minor or lesser periwinkle. Uh, this particular product is, has strong anti-inflammatory effect, in fact has a very, very high antioxidant ability to it. And in fact, uh, it's been utilized so effectively in that particular area that it's a, a leading uh, technique or a leading therapeutic for Parkinson's disease. Uh, last item that we want to cover here is a, a product called Bacopa or Brahman. Uh, Brahman has a very excellent reputation in Ayurvedic medicine. In fact, it's probably what we would consider to be the ginkgo uh, biloba of, of, of Asia and India. It's a little less potent than ginkgo, has a little bit more of a broad spectrum tonic effect to it, but an extremely valuable antioxidant and one that works extremely well from the standpoint of its working reaction with ginkgo. One more item that I'd like to cover as far as Bacopa is concerned, and, and that happens to be with its ability as a, what's known as a nootropic. Uh, simply speaking, a nootropic is something that enhances memory. It has the ability literally uh, from a tonic standpoint to improve, to strengthen, to uh, not only work memory into the day-to-day, -day, but to have it be a part of your cognition. The, the idea here is that we have tried to build a formulation in the Clarity formula that will cover the range of situations that an elderly person would find themselves in. Not only will it be helpful from the standpoint of the elderly, but it generally is going to be something that a person could take to improve memory. A student, for example, uh, somebody that was in a very stressful, uh, high stress position, uh, somebody that was uh, going through a, a life-changing um, situation such as a divorce or recovery from a serious uh, head injury. A head injury itself is one of the things that in fact ginkgo biloba by itself has shown extreme, extremely beneficial long-term ability in treatment to cover. So you've got a great formula in that these things are available in a therapeutic dose that in fact they are going to be, um, from the standpoint of just the handiness of the formula, going to be something that uh, if memory is a problem, you're not going to have the difficulty of remembering to take this because it's basically going to be taken on a one, three times a day basis.